So I've hiked up about a quarter mile past the natural bridge that I showcased in another video. Uh, we're still in the same canyon. And what we found here was something that characterizes a lot of the faulting and the extension that's gone on here in Death Valley National Park. And as we've hiked up this canyon, it's mainly been in these these kind of gravel, these old alluvial fan deposits, just gravels and sands all kind of mixed together. But as you look behind me here, you can see that the bedrock starts to show up in the canyon and the characteristic of the canyon changes, uh, gets a little bit harder to walk up. Before we had this nice sandy uh, gravel kind of path to kind of walk up. And now it looks like the going gets a little bit trickier with some dry falls and some obstacles to deal with. And the reason that there's this abrupt change here is of course geologic. And we can actually see the change between these two if we look at the walls of the canyon over here. So if you look over here, what we actually have here is a fault surface. Death Valley has been formed by faulting, extensional faulting over the last uh, 15, but especially in the last six or so million years. And what you can see here, we'll walk over here a little closer, um, are these rocks here. And these are actually metamorphic rocks kind of greenish marbles uh, and some other metamorphic rocks. And then sitting above them are the gra alluvial gravels that we've been hiking through. So this line right here where my hand's running through the rock, this is the fault surface. This is the fault surface where these rocks have been pushed up relative to these rocks which have slid down over time. And I'll, I'll take you over to a little uh, drawing that I put together that'll hopefully explain it a little bit better. These low angle faults are normal faults, so they're caused by extension. This side's moved up relative to this side which is slid down. And these low angle normal faults are, are what we call detachment faults. And because of the in intense amounts of extension that's gone on here in the crust in Death Valley, these have moved blocks of rock literally tens of miles in some places. So it's an incredible amount of extension that's thinned the earth's crust that's dropped the valleys down like to such a point that it's below sea level out like out in the Badwater Basin below us and then simultaneously pushed up these big lofty mountains. So this detachment fault here you can actually trace it all the way up the cliff face there all the way up to the horizon and then you can actually see it coming back down on the other side of the canyon over here. Uh, so pretty remarkable feature here and if I can help explain this a little bit with this drawing. The idea here is we start out with the Earth's crust being extended, being stretched in this case in an east-west direction. Rocks have brittle characteristics, so at some point as they're being pulled apart, they break, and the breakage is what uh, what forms these faults, these detachment faults. And over time as the extension continues, the fault continues to push up these old ancient metamorphic rocks uh, from below, what we call the basement rocks, and then slide down these younger rocks such that they're right next to each other. And again, that's exactly what we have here in this canyon is the juxtaposition or the placing next to each other of these ancient metamorphic rocks, you know, one, one, one to 1 1.8 billion years old, right up next to these fairly young, maybe within the last few thousands of years, gravel and sand deposits uh, from the flash floods and the shedding off of the sediment as the Black Mountains rose. So again, detachment faults here at Death Valley National Park.